What's going on YouTube? Geosnore here. So in today's video, we're discussing about a new jailbreak that has been demoed by KingLab at a conference. So we're going to discuss about this conference, Infiltrate Conference, that took place a couple days ago between April 26 to April 27, 2018. And KingLab apparently uh, was part of it, and they had a talk about iOS vulnerabilities. And there are a few screenshots, a few photos from the conference posted by the organizers, and we're going to talk about it, but the organizers also said, quote, yes, King Team demoed a full iOS jailbreak chain, which you should fit into your FRAT model somehow. Okay, so they pretty much uh, demoed a full iOS jailbreak. It doesn't say which version. Uh, it doesn't say for which devices. So yeah, it's clear that they do not want to give too much information. KillLab itself doesn't have any information on this. They do have a retweet from the conference with their presentation. And it's clear that they attended this presentation, but there is no information about their jailbreak. And even if you check on their blog, there is absolutely nothing for the moment. So we're going to try to understand what's going on. If you take a look here on their schedule on Infiltrate, on day two, on April 27th, they had this talk in here. The first talk was iOS War Stories, Technical Keynote, Marco Grassi and Lion Chen, both representing the Keen Lab team. So um, if we take a look in here, it says that yes, they demoed a full jailbreak. And this is a screenshot from the conference. And it says the iOS remote compromise via Wi Fi. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this is like how they started or if this is like what they tried in 2017. But this is using a bug from 2017 that has been patched on iOS 11, which would make me believe that they demoed a jailbreak for iOS 10.x, but it wouldn't make sense because iOS 10.x is already too old to matter. They might have started with the research from 2017 because they are mentioning the uh, research posted by Gal Benyamini on the uh, exploiting the Wi-Fi stack on Apple devices. And it's actually this one in here. It's been posted in September 2017 at the end of the September. And it was actually a pretty powerful uh, vulnerability in here with a pretty decent write-up. So no wonder they have used this one in their, um, in their research. But yeah, it's the only slide with their actual presentation so we have no idea whether they were talking about an iOS 10.x jailbreak, but this vulnerability in here they are talking about has been patched on iOS, um, I think iOS 11. So yeah, it's available for iOS 10.3.3 and lower. Now taking a look in here, if you if you look, it says that the original plan or our original plan was pretty straightforward in 2017. And it's not so simple, unfortunately. And it says in here that they got um, between step one and step two this decent bug from. God Benjamini of Project Zero. Now, as I said, I'm not entirely sure that they are talking about an iOS 10 jailbreak. They could as well mention some part of their research from 2017. So it might as well be an iOS 11 jailbreak that is based on uh, the uh, Wi-Fi chip. But anyways, I, I got a lot of questions from people on what's going on because a lot of people had seen this before. Um, a lot of people retweeted this and you know, mention this. So as you can see, I'm being mentioned in this um, in this stuff by some people, and I decided to make a video to clear it up somehow. Uh, there is not much information. They will probably at least put the slides, I hope, on their official website, which is this one in here, not kinlab.com. It's this one, kinlab.tencent.com. But Kinlab has a history of not releasing jailbreaks, so I do not believe they will release this jailbreak, even if they have it. And something very important about this is that usually this jailbreak is created for, you know, being presented as a demo on a specific conference, for example, usually do not have Cydia because they do not buffer with Cydia. Um, because that would mean, of course, to deal with Sorik and to ask him to update uh, Cydia just to work on a private jailbreak, which is probably not going to happen. 99% of the times, this jailbreak demos, you know, of jailbreaks that are private, are usually only for, you know, like demonstrating the SSH or demonstrating full root access and so on. They do not have Cydia. But of course, that could be implemented if they release the jailbreak, but I do not think they will. But yeah, I just wanted to make it clear what I think about it, what I think it is. And although, yes, it's looking very important and very interesting, I do not think KillLab would release it anyways. So yeah, but that goes to say that there are many, many vulnerabilities that can be used. And this is something very good. So definitely the jailbreak is not dead, as Coolstar said when he 
pretty much uh, resigned from working on Electra. So do not update from whatever version you are at. If you're running iOS 11.2, do not update. If you're running iOS 11.2.6, 0.2.2, 0.2.5, do not update. If you're running iOS 11.3, do not update either. There are bugs and vulnerabilities that can be used in jailbreaks for all these versions and it's definitely a better idea to stay on the version you are at. Because I get a lot of questions, should I update to iOS 11.3? No, if you're running an older version, do not do that for the moment. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about in this video guys, to clarify the situation with KinLab and their jailbreak demonstration. So yeah, thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I'm Gio Snow, until the next time, peace out.